What's up, guys? Electric Callboy, Hypa Hypa. Hypa Hypa Hypa. All right, we're 30 seconds in. I want to go back to the very beginning. These guys are wild, man. Uh, f- apparently from Germany, from what you guys are telling me in the comments. Very good English for being German, huh? So I have electronic drum uh, kick and snare. And what I'm hearing is the filters releasing all the highs to my ears. So that's where you're hearing that weird sounding... Tr- and uh, some type of pads. Now all the highs are released and no mids or no lows. Get get that out of the mix for the instru- the instruments. So he's there's multiple layers of vocals here. He's actually there's a really He's really screaming way down in the mix. I'm not sure if you could hear it on like a cell phone or, or laptop um, speakers, but he's screaming way down in the mix. That's very uh, unique. So you're doing an electronic um, snare roll build up in the deep down too. <laughs> These guys are really fun, man. These this this band is I'm I'm glad YouTube gods gave them to me. So Your guitars are constantly in your face. Or however you know, whatever that rhythm is. And your snare is like uh Okay, so now what happens is your your drum, your snare, which is like what you're hearing to keep the tempo going, is cut in half, but your guitars stop and your bass helps carry the rhythm, the, the rhythm of the music is what you're hearing. It's a neat way to switch, um, to switch. Guitar, bass. Guitar, bass. Now that bass is extremely heavily like distorted, so it still sounds like it's really heavy and chugging, which it is, but that's just bass, and your snare picks up and cuts the time in half. Uh, so they're doing multiple things to you sonically to go, oh, there's a change in it, but it still kind of sounds the same. <laughs> okay, so when you're hearing his vocals here, there's tons of layers of vocals, and he's now the screaming is actually brought up a little bit in the mix. So this drum pattern that you're hearing and the du du du, it's a callback to the very beginning of the song. But if you remember the very beginning of the song, it was um, all like all the frequencies are like killed in it, and you're just hearing it. Like, now it's uh, more um, dominant in your headspace, 
and there's a there's a heavy distortion on it as well but what it's doing is it's calling back to the beginning of the song and you go oh yeah i do remember that drum pattern which is still it's the same kind of pattern it's been throughout this first minute but this specifically is like a call back to the very beginning your intro of the song same drum pattern same pads and you go oh yeah oh yeah that sounds familiar oh yeah i do like this beat These guys are awesome. I feel like we're going to go into uh, something different. I, when they're saying hypa hypa, I thought that was probably the chorus, or maybe it's just a pre-chorus. We're going to go into something. I'm assuming uh, they do the same thing in this second verse that they did in the first, where the guitars and the drums, your bass is always there, but your guitars and drums are repeating what they did in the first half of the first verse. <laughs> Guitars prevalent throughout the whole that whole first half. And now what it's doing is it's cutting the guitars only at the beginning, and then they stop in that heavy distorted bass is what you're hearing take over. The the chugging is the just the distorted bass, and your snare cuts the time in half. So you have a couple different things change to make it sound different. <laughs> These guys are really fun, man. Uh, we go back. Uh, so immediately, I mean, it's mostly digital, but there's that digital snare that build up. What that does is it's it's building you up into its its giving your brains oh we're going to something new and then you drop and you let it breathe for just a second before you go into the next part is this the chorus all right so now i want you guys to listen to the guitar and the bass so earlier this in the first half of this entire song the guitar is when they're doing dun, 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 dun. You're, you can hear it very clearly. You can hear almost, you can picture like what notes they are on that fret, uh, on the fretboard. But now you, it's kind of hard to distinguish that. Um, the guitars are basically mixed different for this part of the song, as is the bass. See, now, now your guitars are buried, uh, deeper in the mix uh, some of the frequencies are changed i'm allowing for all of my vocal melodies to take over like that frequency that i can really pay attention to as a human ear they remove the guitar out of that and put it down and it just occupies just a little bit higher register than the bass does and now my vocals multiple vocal tracks have room to breathe for me to hear uh, it's a unique way to um mix things I know I'm pausing it a lot, but what they did is they reversed 
what they did and there was I guess their pre courses that we're hearing where they're saying hypa hypa, I guess that's a pre course. When they went into those, the snare hits they go into I guess this is the course and they come in at like that half temp or uh, the half uh, I'm losing my losing my words. Oh my goodness. The snare comes in and then they ch- and then they change it and they go back to that um gosh guys I'm messing up terrible today on this video but they they switch the snares on how they come into the songs I'm trying I'm drawing a blank I'm, I'm retarded Pair of sunglasses. are so fun just watching it makes it like it it's just so fun so also in his in the main vocals i'm gonna call it the main there's multiple tracks there's not a lot of highs in his vocals uh, i believe that's because the pads are just occupying the frequencies just above where his vocal tracks are. So they had to make room. So your cymbals and all your high crashes and everything, they're occupying the very, very top of what you're hearing. And then I think it's the pads next and then his vocal melodies. So his vocal tracks don't sound like they're that crisp. A lot of mids. A lot of mids. So now what they've done is done a, they've done a callback twice now to that very beginning intro beat, but they've removed the 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 snare out of it. Now it's just your kick. Doom 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 doom. And a ton of pads. Nice breakdown. These guys are awesome. Oh, so here's a neat little engineering trick. So they're going to roll into, I guess, the hypo hypo. I don't know if that's the pre course or the course. The, uh, what they're doing right as they roll into this, listen to all the highs, they all get turned down. That's, that's different. No highs. Now instead of the guitars playing the uh, that main rhythm, it's totally heavy electronic. I don't hear the heavy distorted guitars. Here, a heavy droning bass. There they are. Oh, different. <laughs> 